IKEA Kitchen Planner Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use IKEA Kitchen Planner. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on IKEA Kitchen Planner, you can also click the link in the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is IKEA Kitchen Planner, it is a free user-friendly online tool design to help customers create their ideal kitchen layout which is accessible directly through the IKEA website in which this planner allows users to visualize their kitchen space without the need for any downloads making it a convenient and straightforward and users can start by defining their kitchen dimensions and layouts including options for islands and various configurations so from here you can simply go to ikea.com slash planner where it will show you the tool support customization down to details such as worktops and interior organizers. And from here, just click this button, launch the kitchen planner. Upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, and it will show you that you can start designing by clicking start designing button in here. Upon doing so, you will be able to be directed in here, in which the first thing you need to do is to simply choose your room shape. Rip here and close kitchen space or open kitchen space in here. So upon selecting the kind of space it will show us in here the floor plan or floor view of our given kitchen and below you could also turn the floor view into 3d mode by clicking this 3d view in here and it will show you that you can start customizing and start moving around your floor plan or this kind of kitchen layout now moving on going back to the floor plan in here to start customizing under define your space you could also navigate here define space where you can add a wall add an area separation where it will show you in here on this pop-up window that you can simply use your mouse in order to add a separation area on your kitchen in here then proceed by clicking the ok button to proceed or saving the separation now aside from that by clicking this explorer it will automatically show you that you can start customizing it depending on your preferences on the left side panel or these choices in here we can choose this color which is black or this white depending on your preferences moving on to this element section by clicking on it you can add a structure electricity heating ventilation and fittings while for openings you can add here a windows doors or wall openings depending on your preferences but as you can see this kind of design a window and also the door is now currently okay with me but you can modify the dimension such as the width height in here but let's say we're going to change the location of this window in here. Now moving on, to add more furniture, you can simply click the make it yours button or section on the top panel in here. Where it will show us that we can simply add an appliances, cabinets, dining, kitchen extras and many more. Let's say I'm going to add a fridge and freezer. By clicking on it, it will automatically be added in here. Or we can start changing the location of it depending on the preferences by clicking this icon or by simply dragging it in here so this is basically what it looks like in which it is almost the same color on the wall in here but let's say we're going to change the tile or flooring format by clicking on it it will automatically be directed as under this define your space section where we can start choosing or change again this kind of floor matte color and i'm going to choose this one to make the appliances more visible in here now under this make it yours we can add here more appliances cabinets dining and many more such as cabinets i'm going bad for example for a sink by clicking the sink option it will show us a variety of options to choose from for instance i'm going to select this one by clicking on it it will automatically be added on this layout so we can start replacing it in here for example it is near the window as its location now adding more appliances, I'm going to add for example, which is the oven appliances in here. By clicking the oven section or option in here, it will start selecting different kind of option of oven or appliances. And simply change the location of it on your kitchen layout in here. And as you can see, it is now located or added. And if you want to add more, you could simply go to this dining, if for example, or this kitchen extras. Or and you can start doing the same process of adding or selecting any of your elements or appliances, wall cabinets, high cabinets, and even dining sets in here that you prefer. So as you can see, I just added some of the appliances in here 
and other decorative. But if you want to delete some other kind of appliances that you added in here, you can click the undo button on the top panel or just click the delete button on your keyboard. Now let's say you are now done, you can now proceed by clicking make it happen in which it will show you in here all of the layout such as your 3D layout, your floor plan and many more. And if you want to know the list of all of the things or decor tip item that you add, you can click the confirm button on the top right corner and click proceed in which it will show you the total amount that you need to pay in order to purchase all of this in IKEA. So now as you can see we have here a total price of 7187 US dollar and we'd also start saving our design depending on our preferences. And if you want to know the list of the item, just click the list icon at the top right corner in here. By clicking on it, it will automatically show us all of the item list with it given prices. And also quantity on it. And also the size of it included. So basically the first thing that we need to do to define your space. And after that we can start adding another kind of elements using make it your section. And after that, to make it happen, we can now proceed by purchasing some of this item on IKEA. So that is just basically how you can use IKEA Kitchen Planner. Thank you.